Okay. Uh, are you a reenactor? That's the answer. No, I'm Presbyterian. Oh, brother. <laughs> Didn't I see you at the reenactors convention oh, in yes. St. Charles? Yes, you did. And I believe I got a picture with you. Well, I don't know. I okay. would not. I now, would not verify that. Okay. Now, can you pull a rabbit out of that hat? Yes, I can. Oh, can you do it now? No, because there's not a rabbit in it. Oh. I tell you. So how long did it take for you to memorize the Gettysburg Address? I haven't memorized it yet. Oh, you use the cue cards. No, I just, <laughs> I know it well enough that I make it sound like I know it. Oh, okay. Well, it sounded good. So. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Two terms is enough. Oh. If you can't do it in eight years, you ought to go home. Yeah, well, where is home? My home is in Springfield, Illinois. Oh. Eighth and Jackson. Oh. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. I had the better of the bargain. I got to meet you. Oh, okay. And, We're out of here. Okay, now the picture. And, and that's the rest of the story. Okay. Right. Yeah. We're at the grave site of Theodore Hyatt, the only Civil War veteran that is buried here that is also a Congressional Medal of Honor recipient. He is the only Congressional Medal of Honor recipient that we know of that is buried here at this time. As you can see, he died May 7th of 1900 but the cemetery itself over here was not open until 1999. He was originally buried in Lockport Cemetery but his body was exhumed and brought here to be reburied re with the rest of the veterans that are here. This is the grave site of John Carter who was a doo-wop singer during the 50s a vocalist with the Dells and the Flamingos during the early 50s, mid 50s, around the time of Elvis and everyone else. Most people don't realize he was also a U.S. veteran. He's one of three famous people that are buried here in Abraham Lincoln's National Cemetery. This is the grave site of George Sangermeister, Sergeant, U.S. Army, Korea. He was also an Illinois congressman who made this cemetery possible for veterans to be buried here. This land was acquired from the Joliet Arsenal to make it what it is today, a cemetery for all the veterans and all the veterans who served in foreign wars. And it wouldn't have been possible without George Sangermeister, the congressman of Illinois.